Today in New Things New Tech, we tackle the question, can you use a 4K TV as your main computer monitor on a daily basis? I wonder what it had been like back in the day if you had a 40-inch tube monitor on your desk. monitors you really need on your computer? One, two, three, six, twelve or more? A gazillion? Yeah, more power. <laughs> Currently I have four HD 1920 by 1080 monitors hooked up to my GTX 970. Three are used for day-to-day -day, and the fourth is my Huion GT220 drawing tablet monitor. All the monitors are of different types varying in color reproduction and overall image quality. They're getting old and starting to have issues. This one is losing a pixel here and there. This one is starting to have some sort of capacitor or other component failure, which is showing up and flickering in dark images. This one works pretty well, but it's not as clear as the other two, so it's time to replace these and get three matched monitors. New, decent 1920 by 1080p 24 inch monitors are relatively cheap at around 100 bucks each. So for about three to four hundred dollars to replace these with matched monitors, I think that's a pretty good option. Thinking, however, since I want to edit 4K video and view 4K content, gaming, and more, well, why not switch to 4K monitors? Looking around, it appears that 4K 27-inch monitors are the entry level now, each ranging from about $230 up to about $400 or more. Now that causes the budget to go up to between $600 and $1,200 US. Okay, getting a little more pricey than I want to spend for daily work and occasional gaming. The other issue I'm trying to tackle here is getting rid of all the cable clutter on this deck as well. There are all these cables back here for video, power, and a few power bricks. Then I'm like, Eureka! Eureka. I had an epiphany. epiphany. I could use one big 4K TV and do away with all three of these. Sounds like a really good idea. Looking at the ads, I found that Target, Best Buy, and others were running some really deep sales on TVs. So I looked at some specs on these newer TVs. Something in the 40 inch range should be sufficient to replace three 1080p monitors for one 4K TV that would act like four, that's right, four 1080p monitors. I decided to go with this Vizio 40 inch TV as my main P monitor. It was on sale at Target for around 240 bucks. Add in my Target circle savings and get another 5% off. After tax and savings for right around $243, I had a 4K 40 inch TV to test out. Worst case, might have yet another 4K TV in the house that I could at least use to display my 4K edited videos on. So let's check it out. I'll start by unpacking the TV. Inside the box is the setup instruction, Vizio 40 inch panel, two TV stands, a package containing the mounting screws, remote, two AAA batteries, and a TV power cord. The TV stands are simple to install. They're identical, so you really can't go wrong installing them, right? Insert the stands into the TV base. Add a screw to lock them in place. I know this is all simple stuff, but hey, I'm going over it anyway. To install the batteries in the remote, flip over the remote, insert a fingernail or other little tool and pull the back off. Install the batteries and snap the back on. Now that the Vizio is assembled, I ripped out all the old monitors. The fifth one above is connected to a special VPN machine I need for work. The main three monitors are what I use for normal daily work and play. The fourth monitor is down in front is my Huion drawing tablet monitor. Once done, I'll still use the Huion drawing tablet and only have the one 4K TV monitor that should act as four, that's right, four, four 1080p monitors. Plug it in the new 4K TV, hook it up and voila. Well, I gotta get through the basic setups. So this is my setup. I have the Vizio connected to my computer via the HDMI port on my GTX 970 and the Huion GT220 connected to the display port. The GTX 970 is good enough to run 4K UHD out of the HDMI port. And overall, the 970 is still very good for most gaming and video work. The PC, on the other hand, is a Q6600 based computer from around 2012, I wanna say and needs to be replaced soon enough to a nice Ryzen 7 or better system so editing 4K video is smoother and higher end gaming works well. For now, the setup should work fine for, for this testing. Oh, and the desk is a standing desk, which means I can go from standing to sitting at the push of a button. 
My normal viewing distance from the monitor to me is about two feet. So anything larger than 40 inches to 43 inch TV might be too much at this distance. The Vizio has three HDMI inputs with the first one having an audio return channel, which is good for passing audio in and out. There's a USB port for device input, video, music, etc., which I'll probably never use. The Vizio TV has an Ethernet port and the TV can work on Wi-Fi too. Ideally, wired is better for the best network speeds. Here's an optical audio out. An antenna or cable coax connector is here. Ooh, and this is interesting. Seems there's a composite input. So now I can hook up old video games, old cameras, and other composite video equipment. Yeah, we'll have to test that out. There are buttons on the back here to control the basic settings of the TV in case you can't find the remote. Oh, and the speakers for the Vizio TV are on the bottom. A decently designed hardware design. So firing it up, we go through the normal setup process of setting up the region, the language, the network, IDs of the HDMI inputs, and so forth. In the menu, you can view the manual on screen. There's a full section on color calibration, and you can tweak the TV out to fit what you like. This thing is loaded with features. Free TV, smart casting, all the top streaming services, and more. The computer is fired up, and the TV is getting video. The pick button or menu button section lets you choose what looks best. In this case, I think the computer mode looks best. If it is just too, I don't know, it's a little bit blue and HDRE. For gaming, it looks like you can turn on low latency. I can't see any difference with it. According to the Vizio tag in the store and the Vizio specs, this TV indicates that it has 120 hertz refresh rate. Not true. The most the video card will do is a 60 hertz refresh rate with this television. The TV can really only do a 60 hertz refresh, but some magic software inside that does some motion interpolation to get the 120 hertz. Basically means with fast motion stuff, it corrects the picture to be more smooth. To get true 120 hertz or higher requires spending more for a 240 effective hertz refresh rate TV. That's actually a 120 hertz refresh rate. Confusing, huh? Eh. At first the text looked fair, but had color shift around the fine lettering. The text still was crisp, but with this color shift. Tweaking the settings of the GTX 970, making sure that it's set to full 4K with a 60 hertz refresh rate, and now all the text looks much better. With the color depth set to 32-bit and 12-bit perceived color, which gives us billions of colors. And the YCBCR422 setting seems to work pretty well. Tweak it to your liking. The screen's real estate is very good. I can have small windows open that are sharper than any of my 1080p monitors or go full screen with the 40-inch UHD. Since I'm typically only two feet away from this TV, the 40-inch is plenty big enough and easy on the eyes. For video editing, well, the 4K video really taxes Premiere while editing. So I have to create proxies for all of my footage before editing. It makes for a faster, cleaner edit until ready to render at full 4K. For Photoshop, Blender, Krita, or any other drawing or animation program, this Visio monitor is great, but I still have to use the Huion drawing tablet for drawing. Or do I? Looks like if I set up my drawing area to the Vizio, then I can use the video drawing tablet as a standard tablet. That works pretty well. Gaming gives me a lot of options here. I can hook my Switch up and play it here on the 40-inch inch Vizio, or I can leave it downstairs on the 70-inch 4K TV. Well, let's try out this composite and see what I get. I dug out this old Namco TV game mini console, dropped in some batteries, hooked it up, and Sweet, appears to work pretty well. The upscaling does pretty good. For system games, let's try some Steam. How about Shadow of the Tomb Raiders Definitive Edition? Tomb Raiders works pretty good. One additional thing I did is to add this Samsung soundbar to the TV that was just gathering dust. It wouldn't fit under the TV and I didn't want it in front taking up bass, getting blocked, etc. So why not use the internal speakers? Well, they just don't sound as full as this bar and a subwoofer. The Vizio speakers are pretty good, but just sound more tinty to me. So I had some old Vessel wall mount in brackets that I mounted to the back of the TV, and some old leftover shelf metal parts that actually looked really good. Add in the soundbar mounting hardware, and now I have a nice virtual surround sound system. The internal speakers have virtual surround as well, but just not as bassy as having an external subwoofer and speaker system. Overall, this Vizio 40-inch TV works great as a main PC monitor. The clarity, color, usability are all good. 
For a low-cost alternative to a dedicated 4K PC monitor, this thing is a treat. Thanks for watching New Things New Tech. I'm Scott Drudge. Thank you.